Look at that, the handheld heat press from AM.CZ has finally arrived. Let's unbox this thing and see what it's about. Now that we've got everything laid out on the table and I've looked at my manual, I'm going to start with the two arms, um, as it says in the manual. I'm going to clip them together. Make sure you push nice and hard so that it gets in there. And once you've clipped it in, you can turn it upside down and as it seems, you put a screw in to hold it in place. Now repeat the process with the next set of arms. Now that we've got two semicircles, now we can clip each side together and put our screws in and that's finished. Now that our base is complete and it's assembled, now we can take our handheld heat press, put it on our base so it's nice and safe, and we can switch it on and set it up. Well, it's as easy as that. And now we can put it to the test. Once you've switched it on, you can push on the button temp and then change your temperature to the desired temperature that you need. I'm just going to switch it to 155 degrees. Once you're finished, you push temp again. Then you now need to change your timer. So you push on the timer button and then you can change the time that you want to have the heat press onto your garment. Once you finish setting your time, push timer again and it's ready to go. After pushing the button on the far right hand side of the machine, that activates the heat press and starts vibrating and let you know when the heat press timer is finished. Push the button to activate it. Oh, that vibrates and it seems to be getting hot extremely quickly. And that's it, time is done. Now that we've printed and I cut our design, we can now try out the machine. First, we're gonna do it with vinyl. Now that we've lined up our vinyl, we can now set up our heat press. Switching it on, and we're just gonna check the temperature at 155, perfect. Change it back, and timer, it's on seven seconds. And we leave that, wait for it to warm up to 150, and then we're ready to use it.
Now that we've peeled off our backing, we're ready to do our second layer. Always make sure to test your vinyl and see how long it takes to adhere to the shirt and make sure your temperature is correct and the time is correct. And then when you're applying your heat press, make sure to give some pressure to it so that it makes sure that it actually sticks to your vomit. And now we're going to do one final press to make sure that it is set into the t-shirt. Again, we're going to place our shirt over the pad. Make sure it's nice and flat. Take note that sublimation and t-shirt vinyl needs to be cut and printed in reverse. Now that we've got our print lined up, we can now change the settings on our heat press to sublimation settings. And for sublimation, you need to make sure that your temperature is at 200 degrees. And our time is set to 90 seconds. Now we wait for that to get to 200 and then we're ready to go. Now that it's at temperature, we're ready to go. Make sure it's nice and lined up and to apply even pressure. This print came out really nice, but I do want to just tell you to keep in mind whenever you're using this heat press, to keep in mind that this has got curved edges and that's why we missed out on our print on our corners here because the heat press did not reach all over the entire print of the design. So just keep that in mind. Now that we've seen what this heat press can do, I really think it works quite well that we've tested our t-shirt vinyl as well as sublimation, two very important types of printing in this industry. And I think this machine is going to work really well for the people that don't have the space for a normal heat press. And also it's a nice simple design that can go well in a home without looking too industrial. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Plobosili Kumalo, a level 6 local guide who has 64 reviews all over the country says, the tech support team is on point. I had an issue with my machine. I called them and they said I must bring it in. The person who helped me checked everything and made sure everything was 100%. Kind staff members helped me load my machine in and out of my car. This was just one of the many appreciative reviews we have received. These tags mean a lot to us. Thank you so much for your support. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town, where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. Level 7 reviewer Dash Somalu, who has 119 reviews on Google, says, 
great company, great products, and very well-priced items. The training we received from Messias Chunga was top-notch. He was very knowledgeable and knows his stuff. Another satisfied customer amongst many. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. AM.co.za. Achievement matters.